this webinar is going to be in a listen only mode for the duration of the webinar and towards the end you can feel free to type in your questions and i'll try my best to answer uh, as much as possible While we are waiting for people to join in, I would like to take the opportunity to introduce myself and the company. So my name is Yogesh Lokunde, and I am currently working with the Signature team here with Signet Infotech. Signet Infotech is a global multinational company, uh, now 20 years in operation and working with clients across 35 countries around the world. We develop uh, custom applications for customers, web applications, mobile apps, enterprise apps. And we work in a number of technologies, including Microsoft and mobility, and even the latest ones like blockchain, AI, ML, and so on. Signature as a product has been developed uh, a couple of years back. And uh, that's how we also have a number of other solutions for uh, different lines of business, like a mobile app for field sales, uh, RPA solution, uh, test automation solution, and other things. So today, I think it's time that we can start maybe. As the world is reeling under the impact of coronavirus and Everybody seems to be affected. It's really a major crisis that the world has ever seen after World War II. We are all gathered here, and I'm sure most of us are working from home, and it's a very different way to work. There are new challenges uh, that we all have to face working from home. One of the challenges, obviously, is uh, how to sign documents because uh, while in the office we never realize that signing documents is very easy but when you are at home you don't have your templates you don't have your documents you don't have your printer or your scanner so many people across the world are stuck with such a problem and having getting approvals getting signatures on important documents uh, is becoming difficult so that's the reason we decided to host this webinar uh, to maybe help you understand how electronic signatures work and can be useful uh, to help you sign your documents, get your business running and keep all the, uh, you know, your organization moving ahead, even in this time of uh, difficulty. So we have structured the webinar. Uh, the agenda is going to be as follows like i will introduce you to uh, what is electronic signatures what is the legal perspective what are the different types of electronic signatures and then i will also introduce you to the solution signature and a little demonstration along with some use cases i hope this should be good enough for you to uh, as a takeaway so the most important thing that most people ask as the first question, whenever the subject of electronic signatures comes up is, are they legal? Are, is it really safe to use them? Are these electronic signatures secure enough? What kind of evidence is there for signing? Uh, what kind of documents we can sign? What kind of documents we cannot sign? What about the confidentiality of the documents, etc.? So these are the most common questions and uh, to be honest, uh, these are very good questions. I got a message that nobody is able to see my screen. So I hope now you can see the screen. OK, thanks for telling me. Wonderful. So good, we did not miss a lot. The main questions are up on the screen that whether electronic signatures are legal, is it safe, is it secure, etc. We are going to answer all of these uh, in due course of this webinar. But if you really want to understand, I would request you to pay attention to uh, the things that I will explain in terms of what signatures really are. And when you understand the concept of signatures, 
then it becomes easier for you to trust uh, the electronic means also. So, okay. So now take a look at this screen. What is a signature? A typical signature has three components. There has to be a person who is signing. There is a message or some information in the document which needs to be signed. And there is a signature which the person attaches it to the document like this. So this becomes your signed document or a signed message. This is what you normally understand. It's very nice on a pen and paper. It's very easy to do. We do it day in day out and when it comes to working with others then you need to print that document sign it scan it further email it the other person has to do the same process once again doing all this with wetting signatures is a little cumbersome it's time consuming it also wastes paper now there are three problems that uh, are typically surrounding signature usage one is the authentication of the signer. So you need to be sure that the person who is signing the document is the one who is claiming he is. There should be no forgery around the identity of the person. Second important thing is the integrity of the document. The document which the person has signed should not allow anybody to tamper with it after the signatures have been placed. And the third important factor or the problem is non-repudiation. These are technical terms but I'm explaining them. Non-repudiation means uh, that the signer should never come across and say that he has never signed the document. The evidence itself should be good enough to prove that it was the signer himself who actually signed the document. So these are the three problems. And these problems are not new. I mean, if you take a look, uh, even in mythology, you will find good number of examples around this. I will take one example. This, if you are aware of the Indian epic uh, Ramayan, there is a time when Lord Ram gives his ring to Hanuman before he is going to Lanka to meet uh, Sita. So Ram tells uh, Hanuman to show the ring to Sita, but Hanuman does not show that immediately. First of all, he tries to tell Sita that he has come from Ram and Sita refuses to believe him because she thinks Hanuman is some Rakshas created by Ravan who is trying to fool her. But only when Ra uh, Hanuman shows the signature ring of Ram, then she believes him. So this is an example of the usage of signature. The message of Lord Ram was conveyed to Sita and she believed that message only because of that ring. So that is the importance of signature uh, in our, you know, this epic. So. This was probably an aside, but just to show the importance. Now, if we really look at today's situation, what is an electronic signature? Just like Anuman used the ring as a symbol of the signature, electronic signature is nothing but an electronic version of a symbol that you use to sign a document. So if you read these definitions, what is an electronic signature? It's a symbol or some data in a digital form that is attached electronically to an electronically transmitted document as a verification of the sender's intent to sign the document or the other definition. So it may seem technical, but if you really dissect it, you will see there is a one part which is the symbol in a digital form. There is another which is electronically transmitted document. So the document is there and a verification of the sender's intent. So authenticity, integrity, non-reputation, all these three things need to be built in. But the main question is who is the person or who is the authority who is going to give any guidance around these electronic signatures, how to use them, in which case it is valid, in which case it is not valid. All electronic signatures, therefore, are governed by the electronic signature law. If you really want to understand what is electronic signature, the best place to start is by reading the law. Here you will find everything about how electronic signatures are defined, how they are verified, how they are uh, created, etc. Every country has their own electronic signature laws. They are encapsulated in their IT Act or some e-commerce act or something like that. So 
we have studied all these laws and we have realized that there are some common requirements from an electronic signature that almost every country's laws adhere to what are these common laws so these are the common expectations which make a e signature legal number 1 the signatory can be uniquely identified and linked to the signature so there must be an ability for the signature to be linked to the signer that ability has to be there second the signer must have the control of the key or the technology or whatever way that is used to sign the document to create that signature so this means that the signer must be signing it himself later on he cannot say i never signed it the signature must be capable of identifying if any of the data has been tampered with after the message was sent so you can see how the law has very clearly laid down the criteria for a valid electronic signature in the event that the accompanying data has been changed the signature itself should become invalidated so in this case the signature itself is intelligent enough to tell the world that if the document is modified after the signature has been put the signature becomes invalid so if these four criteria is adhered to or complied with then any electronic signature is valid this is how the law is presenting it and if the law says so then it gets you know it can be proved in the courts of law in case of any dispute so any software system which is built around these four criteria is very very useful um, to address all your concerns about whether such a signature is legal or is it secure how it can prove that the document was signed etc however if you see these uh, four or five cases this is as per the it act in india there are some exclusions to electronic signatures so something like a negotiable instrument or a power of attorney or trust or a will or any sale of contract of immovable property all these documents or all these contracts are excluded from the e signature law so these documents need to be signed with wet ink signatures only there is no other option however if you really look at it this is only a small percentage the whole world is open for signing all kinds of other documents be it business contracts ndas of a letters all other documents are open for electronic signatures so this should address your question on what is okay to sign what is not okay to sign these examples are from the it act india but if you refer to the acts of your own respective country you will figure out that more or less is the same or you will get specific conditions when it is valid when it is not valid now let us look at how technology is used to create electronic signatures and how it is really helpful for you to uh, get all the evidence around it how it actually works we have seen that there is a person there is a message and there is a signature this is fine when it comes to technology we are creating additional uh, you know uh, entities one is a certificate authority somebody has to issue a signature because if i just issue it myself nobody will believe me so there has to be a third party some kind of authority that actually issues a signature for you so this is one then there is a lot of technology that goes behind it there is a solid encryption technology there is this public and private key mechanism that is used finally and then you have your electronic signature how does it work there is a person's identifier a person needs to be identified with something so on the online world everybody knows you by your handle if it is social media you get known by your twitter handle or facebook handle etc but when it comes to signing documents the most uh, useful identifier or handle is your email id so it can be your company's email id or your personal email id that actually identifies who you are if i send you an email it goes to you so your email id becomes your identifier in the online world 
so the certificate authority actually issues a certificate for your email id then it encrypts that and creates some kind of public key private key mechanism which we are not going to discuss in this webinar because it might require a lot of time so we are not going to go into details of that it becomes too technical finally an electronic signature is created that gets applied to the message and the document is signed the signed document looks like the normal signed document maybe somewhere it may look a little different based on the signature that you have applied but now the question is how is it different from a pen and paper what kind of uh, evidence does it give does it really solve the three problems yes it does here you will see that because it is an electronic signature it allows you to verify that signature directly from the certificate authority and because of this verification you can actually kill three birds in one stone you can authenticate who has signed you can ensure the integrity of the document and you can prove because of the timestamps and all everything that get associated with the signature so there is no problem in having a valid electronic signature on the document because of this verification mechanism that is provided now let's go ahead there are different types of electronic signatures there is simple electronic signature which the legal validity is very low in this case maybe you are just able to you know scribble something let's say the somebody from amazon comes and delivers you some package and you sign on his tablet that's an example of a very simple basic electronic signature there's no legal validity to that signature or it does not have a lot of legal weight right anybody in your house can scribble something on that pad and receive that document or that package some of the electronic these electronic signatures can be used to sign internal documents employee policy invoices etc however when you really want a valid uh, contract you want to sign something which has real legal weight which can stand in the court of law then you need to use this advanced or qualified electronic signatures like i explained in the previous slide they can be used for business contracts international contracts signing audit reports etc uh, these are the types of issuers of electronic signatures now there are two ways if you notice if you uh, want a dongle now this dongle actually stores your digital signature you must be familiar with this and this is issued by the authority which is you know given the right to issue this you as an individual has to approach this uh, institution uh, for uh, instance in india there are many authorities um, you know uh, which have been given the right to issue dongles by the cca uh, controller of certificate authorities and you have to pay for it and buy this dongle then this dongle can be used to sign any documents similarly in india and in many countries they have a concept of a national id like in india we have aadhar in uae there is emirates smart pass in other countries there are different things and it is also possible to sign up sign a document with this national id here also you have to first apply to that authority get your aadhar issued and then you can use it to sign however it is not always possible to uh, get all these signatures for yourself what happens if you don't have a signature and you want to sign something legally valid in that case there are organizations which offer a one time uh, certificate for you to use based on your email id and these are globally valid organizations these are also known as trust um authorities so you may have heard about global sign or entrust or digicert so these organizations provide these certificates which are in software form so just by using an email id you can get your certificate while signing the document and sometimes this whole process is actually managed by the software system which is what i am going to demo to you right now 
i hope uh, so far uh, the basics of electronic signatures are clarified for you you can understand how much technology goes into that and how it is possible to verify at any point of time that who has signed it whether the document was modified after that because the signature itself will get invalidated and uh, if you can get a software to manage all of this all the better you can work from home as well as get your documents signed so this is where we come to signature which is our um, signing solution and it is an all-in-one signing solution electronic digital biometric so it's built to support all kinds of various signing methods it's an award-winning solution it has won the best blockchain solution award also it's an iso 9001 27001 certified also capsec application security and vapt certified solution it's a highly feature rich solution designed for the modern world with having a lot of options for you to use we support multiple signatures here so if you see we support the simple electronic signatures like drawing selecting a font uploading an image and we support the hardware uh, dongle certified sign Aadhaar. Also, this is in work in progress. Maybe by April end, we should have this. And we also, if uh, support application of uh, fingerprint, capture of face from webcam, iris prints from an iris device. If these devices are used, the solution can capture these also. Although these are only supporting symbols, these are not maybe agreed to be valid signatures. But obviously, USB token, certified sign, other electronic, all these are valid. We have a signature mobile app also, which is available on both Android and iOS. And we have a feature called live signature, which I will talk about later. We also authenticate people, uh, the signers using two-factor authentication, password and OTP. The process is very simple to use the system. Before I go to the demo, I would just like to show you the five steps. You upload a document, you select the signers, you select the signature type, set the placeholders on the document and sign. So in like less than a minute, you can send out a document for sign from you know wherever you are, in the office, at home, anywhere. Applications are many whether you consider any industry could it be insurance pharma healthcare and if you look at any of the departments sales people can use to sign contracts ndas uh, purchase uh, department can use it to sign purchase contracts uh, non-disclosure agreements uh, hr people can use it to sign employee ndas or offer letters and so on so the applications are there everywhere let me now shift uh, gear, move into the demonstration of the solution. I believe all of you are still uh, tuned in. Please uh, allow me to share the screen of the solution and then I will start. Okay, so I will shift to my browser and let me log out. I'll show you from the beginning how the system works. So I hope you are able to see my screen. And I will start by logging in to my email ID with my password. So the first step is to authenticate the signer. So the system sends an OTP. And I will receive the OTP and I will try to enter it here. So give me a moment, I'm waiting for the OTP. Uh, sometimes the OTP doesn't come in time. So there is an option, we can actually go to the email ID. If the mobile doesn't come on your mobile phone, you can actually get it on your email also. So 214627. Okay. So now you will see the dashboard. In the dashboard, you will see how many signatures are awaiting my sign. 
many awaiting others completed etc so this solution uh, signature actually helps you to manage all your document signing on a single platform you can actually upload documents uh, which can be in any format pdf doc docx ppt even excel sheets or even images like jpg and png once you upload a document uh, you as i mentioned you can move through the steps quickly so let me try to upload a sample nda as the document is getting uploaded uh, you will see that uh, now it's uploaded so i can actually on the system create some classification for the document give some description just imagine you want to send this document for signing to your third party some other partner company or your customer and you need to select some signer so supposing i am one signer and i will create or the other person if he is there fine let me see okay so i am just using one of my colleagues name but if the other party is not there in your contact list you can as well add a new person by adding his name and email id so it works so we support parallel order of signing as well as sequential order you can actually sequence first if you want to select sequence first dipika has to sign or first yogesh has to sign if the sequential order is there the document will first be sent to the person in the first for instance and then once the first signer has signed then it will be sent to the second signer so all this is management of the document signing process build around the signatures the signatures we will now come to in the next screen as you can see we have so many signature types to choose from e signature is the basic electronic signature certified sign is the one that actually uses that uh, it's a qualified electronic signature with uh, supported from global sign we can use dongles we can choose this additional uh, facility we can either choose aadhar or live location binding etc there are many features around it i'm not going to talk about it if you are very interested to see how it may suit your organization later you can drop in a message for the moment let me proceed with the demonstration so i'll choose certified sign click next and this is the document so i can actually scroll through the document read all the clauses in fact i have only uploaded so i don't really need to read everything but let's see i will put my signature here i just draw a placeholder and for dipika i will create a signature here okay excuse me the names are not changed because this is just a sample document now that is done and i can actually give a signing due date like please sign this document before 14th april and the system can send a reminder to all the people one day before if it is not signed there are some other features and all which we will not discuss right now and i finish so you will notice here that i have finished my signature and now dipika will be signing that document so i don't know if dipika is online if she is going to sign this document we will wait for her to sign this sample nda and meanwhile what i can do is i can actually go back to my dashboard and i'll see if there is any document awaiting my sign so i can go here and okay so it seems dipika has sent me some document to sign i can click on this so she had signed first and i need to sign second if i want to see the document i can yeah anyway this will open up the document so this is some statement of work and you will see i can scroll down read everything and find everything okay and i can like put my signature here so signature gets applied if i don't like the font of the signature i can actually change it from here 
if i am an artistic kind then i can actually draw my signature i can even upload my signature file or i can use a sign pad which is attached to my laptop to sign for the moment i'm going to just use a font so it will apply that font and i will submit it so please remember that this is a certified sign so which means that it is issuing a digital certificate from a certificate authority approved globally so once the document signing is completed i will show you uh, the sign document as well as some other features that are there so while the document is getting signed you know you can see that the system is time stamping the sign document into blockchain it's storing the document onto the server etc all these uh, security features are built into the system the document is completely signed and uh, there are two things that you can do right now one is to download the document which is signed and i will just open the document which is signed okay take some time for the document to open because it is actually verifying all the signatures you can see it's verifying the signatures provided by the signing authority so just give us a moment i am sure it will complete the verification this is the verification actually trying to check whether the signer and uh, is the same person etc it's actually associating the signatures it's a moment of suspense you know so let's wait taking time maybe my internet connection is a little slow okay done so 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 okay so you can see the signatures are there they are validated and if you are really the technical sort you can click on this signature and you can see the certificate also that it's being validated again i think it's taking a little bit of time so please excuse me on that uh, okay signature is valid signed by yogesh signature properties show the signer certificate see here we have the full you know audit trail and the trust uh, you know how the trust gets passed from one layer to the next this is good enough for the courts of law to prove that it's actually me who has signed this document okay the other way to see it is like you can check the left hand panel you will see all the details of the signature here signed by you signed by the people so this is totally valid uh electronic signature legally valid and can be you know proved in the court of law also now let me uh, shift back to the presentation okay that was the solution demo i'll now walk you through some unique use cases of signature Uh, number one being live signature so we have a feature called live signature wherein uh, the signers can actually come online on a video conference and they can view each other's screens they can even view the document here they can scroll through the document and put their signatures also have a conversation around the document and then save it once they submit it the entire video gets recorded now why this why not 
in fact now because everybody is at home uh, it becomes important to have some kind of face to face conversation while signing a document and if the document if you really want to have that maybe for instance if you want to sign board resolutions the board meeting has happened and the resolution needs to be signed so why not bring all the directors and the board members together on this platform everybody can chat around it and sign the board resolutions and move ahead the whole video gets recorded and stored on the platform so this is one use case which is a very unique one that we are offering this use case is very specific to india so all those people who are uh, not from india just bear with me for a few minutes as i walk uh, the rest of them for this use case so in india there is the requirement of using stamp papers after paying stamp duty for certain documents so the manual process or the physical process is very lengthy first you need to buy the stamp paper then attach it to the document then both the parties have to come together to sign the you know final document then one person keeps the document and the other gets a photocopy so this is the process in manual process it takes time you have to purchase the stamp papers in advance etc how can we move this to signature can it be done online is it valid okay the good news that it is valid we have taken good number of legal opinions and they have suggested that this is the way it can be done using the online platform so there is a website called shcil which is stockholders corporation of india estamp.com this is actually currently valid in some of the states not all however in these states you can actually go to this website purchase your stamp paper by paying the stamp duty you get a physical certificate that certificate you need to attach to the document upload the final thing onto signature and send it off for electronic signing in this case the stamp paper plus document is equally legally valid there is no doubt about it so i am sure there are a lot of scope for improvement in this process there are still hiccups but yet yeah, e stamp as well as franking it is possible to frank your document first go to a bank or any uh, agency which provides the franking get your franking done and then upload that document on signature and send it off for signing that is also considered legally valid so this is another use case okay now some companies uh, are very very scared about confidentiality of their documents and okay i mean it's uh, valid for them because some documents are really confidential and you don't want to upload it to any cloud solution this is a main concern for some of the larger organizations and that is the reason they don't really go into using any electronic solution because of this particular limitation so we have tried to solve it in this manner that once you complete your you know you're towards the close of finishing your signing workflow you can select uh, this option remove the signed document from signature so if you select this by enabling this feature the signed document will be sent on email once the signature process is complete and the platform will not store a record of the document the document will not be stored on the platform it will be sent on email and that's all and actually uh, another thing which i really missed showing you uh, in the demonstration and i would i just remembered it and i need to move back here we have signed the document this is the most important thing in signature which is the certificate of signing so signature provides this certificate in which you can actually see the level of details that we capture the ip address of the device the browser the device os even the latitude and longitude of the signer so this level of evidence and proof is unimaginable and it gives a lot of comfort and confidence to the users that the solution is actually tracking each and everything and in case of disputes you have enough evidence 
to prove your case that the document has been signed apart from all the blockchain stuff here that we have you can actually open this google map and see exactly where the signer is located where it was signed okay i'm sorry i missed this so let me again go back this is a signature certificate you can download this certificate also for your records having said that um, signature also provides uh, api to integrate with your own business system so you don't really have to use the cloud solution as it is you can from your own system use the apis call them sign your documents and store it on your system only you can provide that api also signature as a solution is very very feature rich in fact i have not even covered all these features in this webinar okay and i'm not going to do them also if you are interested to know more about signature please visit our website please request for a separate demonstration for your own organization and we will be very happy to do that finally let me try to summarize that actually signature is legal it fulfills all the legal requirements as given in the it acts it is safe not just because of social distancing but we have also done all kinds of vulnerability and uh, you know penetration testings it is secure we have used the maximum encryption possible and also it's built on blockchain which actually stores all the audit trail of the signing process it gives a very strong evidence in terms of the certificate of signing which i just showed you and it's so much feature rich that i'm sure you will be very happy to use this solution in your organization so uh, finally let me say that um, it's an extensible and future ready solution because today you may not use biometrics but in future if biometrics come into forte then you must uh, you need not go to another solution everything is already inside signature in case of disputes you have all the evidence with you with the mobile app and the web app you can sign anywhere anytime any device and plus you get world class security for your documents so i hope this webinar has been useful to you in terms of understanding the benefits of using electronic signatures you are free to use any electronic signature platform i'll be happy if you use signature however uh, my purpose of doing this webinar was to give you the confidence of moving to electronic signatures there is no need to worry these signatures are really uh, built with a technology that cannot be tampered with and uh, there is a lot of evidence that can come through for you to record in terms of electronic signing in fact i personally believe that electronic signing is far far more secure and safe than even handwritten wet ink signatures because there you have to go to forensic people and all and then they will try to match your signature and your stroke of signatures with your other signatures etc it's a very long process but when it comes to electronic signatures you can actually verify these things very easily and very quickly so let me now pause and i will request for any questions that may be there if you have any questions please please ask now i will try to answer to the best of my knowledge okay i can actually see already lots and lots and lots of questions let me try to go one by one not able to see the screen and all okay that was cannot see it see it should not visible okay please bear with me um, can one party do digital signature and the other party do physical wet ink signature this is one question that we have uh, yeah i mean why not let's say you have a document and you have signed it with physical pen wet ink now the other party is not there with you you can up, you need to basically scan that document and then upload it to the platform and send it off to the other party to sign so there should not be any problem in having a mix of physical and 
electronic signatures. What is the difference between digital and electronic sign? Okay, you know, so this is a question of definitions and uh, understanding. If you really read the law, the only mention is electronic signatures. Sometimes the difference is created because the plain electronic signatures are getting differentiated with the digital signatures which are using encryption and public and private key. So the digital signatures you can consider to be the ones using high-end encryption technology, while electronic signatures could be plain, you know, uh, the drawing or font or something like that. But otherwise, you the main difference, uh, there is hardly any difference. Both are electronic only. Can rent agreements be signed and valued in court of law? Okay. Now, there are organizations and in some states in India, uh, online rent agreements can be signed. So it's a valid uh, way to sign rent agreements online. In fact, when I was staying on rent also, I had myself signed my rent agreement online. So there is some part of the process that needs to be done physically. There is some verification, but that the organization manages. We don't have to do much, but it depends on the law. So I would recommend you to just uh, study the law on around rent agreements. Can a document to be submitted to ROC be signed digitally and still be submitted same way to ROC without physical signature? If yes, do we still the document on stamp paper? Uh, okay, this question is actually not in my uh, knowledge. I am neither a legal guy nor a technical person. I would probably request one of my legal uh, uh, team persons to probably answer this question later offline. Which signature type is recognized by government? Government actually, the IT Act is defined with the government. The government has said that electronic signatures are valid. I hope I'm answering your question on that. If you meant something else, I'm sorry. Sir, what about not certified signature? Simple signature can be used. Okay, now this is a question that is left to the discretion. In my opinion, if you ask my opinion, you can use plain electronic signatures to sign, you know, internal documents. But if you really want to sign a document which you want to be legally valid, should be upheld in the court of law and all, the recommendation is to use certified sign which is nothing but a qualified electronic signature. How to protect against impersonation if some other Yogesh signs the document? Wow, it's a good question. Okay, so we have given two factor authentication here. So in case I need to sign the document, first of all, I have to use my user ID password. And uh, then the OTP comes to my mobile number. So that kind of uh, clears most of the use cases. Somebody has my password also, somebody has my mobile number also, then obviously I have uh, no chance. But then it's the same case. If somebody has my credit card, somebody has my pin and everything, then obviously then uh, some wrong things can happen. Can the invoice sent from ERP to the application Yes, it is possible for the ERP to send invoice directly to application, get it signed and the signed document to go back into the application. This can be set up using API. And the document can be sent to customer directly also. This is no problems. All these magic can be done through API integration. Can one party do digital signature and the other party do wet physical ink signature? Yes, I, have, I think I already answered this question previously. Do you have any integration app for Salesforce? Right now, sir, we don't have, but we are working towards it. We are actually right now working towards integrating Microsoft Word, SharePoint, and Outlook. And after that, we are going to take up the Salesforce integration. Are sign without any authority certificates? Are sign without any authority certificates? I don't know if I've understood your question 
correctly maybe you are referring to electronic signatures yeah electronic signatures basically the basic ones the drawing and all they are not attached to any certificates only when you use certified sign they are attached to certificates are you allowed to store biometrics uh, okay that's a good question we are putting the biometrics on the platform for usage in a so we have a privacy policy that kind of covers that question can i compare the document before signing yeah 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 this is a very good question asked by somin shah uh, we are giving features to compare um, uh, an unsigned document and also a signed document both the documents can be compared for any change or any modification although we are not going to show you the exact change that has happened but we can show you that it's not the same document so that is there can there be more than one digital signature yes of course why not do we have to upload electronic signature do we have to certify electronic signature from any authority first before using your solution so yeah so i explained in the webinar that uh, if you are using aadhar then obviously we are not going to issue aadhar we are not going to issue the hardware dongle but we can issue you the certified sign while signing so there is no need for you to purchase a certified sign in advance you can use it from our platform directly can we have this solution 100% on premise <clears throat> yes it can be done on premise why not however the commercials costings will be radically different because i'm sure you understand the difference between on premise and cloud the costings will become very very different can it possible server based centralized signature server based <coughs> centralized signature yeah uh, and no we we'll have to i need to understand your use case properly before i can answer that question i would like to prepare my digital signature which i can use for signing on all documents i would like to prepare my digital signature whether such signature is available uh this digital signature uh, you can actually purchase no the dongle you can purchase from uh, government authorities or uh, any private body which is given that license to issue that hardware dongle maybe like e mudra and code safe script and all they all provide these hardware dongles so you can take your dongle from there and then sign documents is bankers currently in the country accepting this that's a difficult question for me to answer bankers they are also struggling actually i speak to a lot of bankers and they are also figuring out whether the law allows them to accept such signatures so it's both way problem and because now everybody is stuck at home they are all struggling to figure out what is right what whether we need to do it or not are documents signed on different dates valid in courts are you saying that i sign today and the other person signs the next day yeah why not there is no problem so long as uh, you are able to prove the authenticity of the signer integrity of the document and non repudiation it's fine you say that one person sign on paper can send mean it will be a second doc you say that one person sign on paper scan and send means it will be second doc maybe <clears throat> okay maybe 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 i maybe that's a trick question i would like to take back my first answer although i think in my opinion it should not be a problem but um maybe it's a good question i'll discuss with my legal team and figure out if that's possible are bank documents valid legal with electronic signatures i have already spoken about banks issues <clears throat> can hackers still succeed in inflicting loss it's a very generic question if you ask about signature we have done everything in our capacity to make it a very secure solution using the information security practices iso 27001 we have done our vulnerability and penetration testing on the solution for trying all kinds of hacker attacks and fundamentally we have a layer of blockchain which kind of keeps the data 
uh, in multiple ledgers and all so there is no chance of tampering there then need to store aal signature certificate or centralized server and base password can sign need to store a signature centralized server and base password user can sign then it possible to continue print example invoices 24 by 7 okay this particular solution cannot do that but we have a bulk signing solution uh, which can actually print invoices for you 24 by 7 you affix your digital signature on the server centralized place and configure it accordingly and we can kind of uh, you know keep on signing each invoice automatically that invoice gap can be sent to the relevant customer also after that can it help in mca 21 documents signing as our clients are all over india and we send documents through courier that cause delay in services it depends what is ex which exact documents if they are not in the excluded category that i have shown in the webinar then you must be able to sign them however i still suggest take a legal opinion and proceed are bank documents valid legal with simple electronic signatures again bank documents is a question mark a digital signature verification does not show your phone and email address then how to know which yogesh has signed as i said uh, in the webinar the digital signature actually only captures your email id using the email id it creates your public key private key combination and so on so in order to support that or to supplement that signature actually captures a lot more evidence uh, beyond e email id we capture your device uh, browser ip address latitude longitude etc so that can actually become a very strong you know set of evidence we take user content to store biometrics yeah okay so yeah my, my colleague has answered that question about biometrics that uh, we take the consent and as i said also that uh, all this is governed through our privacy policy we take consent before storing biometrics are signed without any authority certificates valid or legal uh, as i said the valid legal signatures need certificates just the pure electronic signatures are better used within the organization or for simple use cases even within the country is fine but if you are doing any international contracts very high value contracts and all the certificates digital certificates are a must it's highly recommended to use them can we do document collaboration on this platform unfortunately we cannot do much of document collaboration on this platform however uh, we can consider you know doing some custom integration with your solution or some other dms that is required we still need witness as per law okay now that's a legal question witness if it is there we can create a signer for the witness the witness can also put his signature there so why is the witness required in my opinion just to ensure that it's a third party and independent verification but if your electronic signing solution is given giving all the evidence then witness is probably not required but in case for safety you need a witness he can also sign is other number used anywhere during the signing process for the other party how does it work yes we support other i could not give a demonstration of the other because otherwise we would have taken a lot of time um but yes how it works is uh, when we select other as the signing method then the other person needs to enter his other number first he needs to give a consent to nsdl okay i accept to sign this document with other he enters his other number an otp goes to his registered mobile number and that verifies the authenticity of the person and a signature is placed on the document so that's how other works and feel free to reach out to us for a specific demo on other how it works is there api for sap erp see our apis are rest apis and they can be consumed by other applications um, if there is a specific use case around sap erp we are free to discuss and we'll help you surely with that where are the keys uh, stored the keys actually are you know stored keys are stored okay i don't understand this question 
very clearly. Where are the keys stored? So we'll get back to you with the answer to this question. Hardware security module HSM. Okay, HSM is um, also possible. However, we have not yet worked on a project with SSM so HSM so far. We will be keen to discuss with you around what is your use case. Hi, all kinds of DSC, all class. Yes, yes, all kinds of DSC, all class. We are supporting. No work, one by one. Yeah, on this platform it is one by one however we can extend this platform with some rpa and all to make it bulk we have a separate bulk signing solution also which you can use can we have a recorded copy of this webinar okay why not is there any test login available yes please visit our website www.signature.io please create your free trial and you can get started i think i have covered all the questions Okay, so yeah, I think the last question was most valuable. Is there a test login available? Yes, please sign up for a test drive. Visit www.signature.io and sign up for the free trial and take it up from there. I thank you very much for all your time and your attention you've given to this webinar. Thank you, thank you very much. Please stay safe in this crisis, Corona crisis. Stay away from uh, crowds. Wash your hands. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. I am now closing the webinar.